Thank you for tuning in to It's a Lifestyle. I'm your host, Rachel. Today I'm going to do an undercover Griffles video to explain the process of donating plasma. The benefits of donating plasma assist with the essential starting materials needed to manufacture therapies that help with rare, chronic, and genetic diseases. These medicines help save lives. When you first enter the facility, you have to sign your name in the book and take a seat in the waiting area until your name is called. Once your name is called, you will be greeted by one of the workers. This is when the worker is going to ask you for your ID, social security number, and any mail with your name that was posted in the last 30 days. During this step, the worker is inputting your personal information to the computer, such as your name, date of birth, social security, and address. She will ask you to put in your social security number and read the statement. I am aware that my blood will be tested for HIV, syphilis, and hepatitis B and C. Smile! Your next step is the kiosk. They are going to ask you to select your language, which is English, and then you are going to put your pointer finger on the scanner. The kiosk is going to reveal your personal information you gave to the worker and the computer is going to ask, is this you, before it moves on to the questionnaire. You will have to review the resources in order to answer certain parts of the questions, so you will click Hit Resources. It's going to ask you, did you review the donor medical history kiosk, and you're going to click Yes. Are you feeling healthy and well today? Click yes if you are, no if you are not. Female donors, in the past six months, they're gonna ask you, are you pregnant? Then you have to review the medical list of certain drugs that you cannot take. Say yes, I reviewed the list. The drugs that they're looking for are like blood thinners, Have you donated plasma and had any complications? Do you have any vaccinations? Have you donated at another center? Now they do have communications between other centers to let you know because you're not really supposed to donate more than twice a week. Have you viewed the risk poster today of the certain things that can happen? With donating plasma, you can get dizzy, nauseated, sometimes dehydrated, but they do give you saline so that that doesn't happen. And they ask you a couple of risk questions. Um, if you had any recent tattoos or ears piercing, they also ask, not in this one, but when you first come in, if you had any sexual, risky sexual behavior. Um, they also ask you about your temperature, if you had any flu-like symptoms, any tooth extractions, dental visits that may keep you from donating, any acupuncture where they're sticking holes in your skin, um, if you travel outside of the United States. Then you'll say you have read and understand all the questions and you're answering them truthfully and to the best of your knowledge. Say that you agree. Um, you are voluntarily giving plasma. No one's forcing you to do that, so you have to answer that. I agree. Um, that you you know, again, that at this time, your blood will be tested for HIV, syphilis, hepatitis B, and C. And that they will notify you if anything is wrong with your blood, and you will be deferred from this center and any other center across the United States. You have to give your consent. They also ask you if you had any questions, did you give whether an opportunity for those questions to be answered and that your postal address has not changed in the last 30 days. I'm assuming that they're very particular about that because if you do have tainted blood, um, they will have to notify you and I guess they want your correct updated information because it is confidential. And now you will exit the kiosk head to toe examination. 
The nurse checks your skin, presses on your stomach, and looks between your fingers and toes for tattoos, piercings from earrings, and drugs. The next process is to check your vitals such as blood pressure, temperature, protein, hermetocrit, and weight. I was deferred twice for my heart rate being 106 and 112. Once all eligibility requirements have been met, you will begin the process of donating. The process took me 29 minutes. Griffo uses a special process called plasmapheresis that separates plasma from blood and the red blood cells are brought back to the body. As you can see, I'm pumping. The more you pump, the more blood comes out. If you drink a lot of water and you are a vegetarian, it will take the 29 minutes or so. If you're not, if you're a meat eater, it'll take between 45 minutes to an hour. This is what the plasma looks like once you're done collecting. The supplies used in collecting the plasma are sterile. The last step is where the red blood cells and other cellular components are returned to the body with sterile solution to assist the body in replacing the plasma that was removed from the whole blood. The worker is going to give you a red index card with your name and information on there. You'll get a Griffel MasterCard with $50 on it. Keep that card because they will be posting the money on it each and every time. You only get $50 for the first five donations. After that, you get $20. They have a special. If you donate six times, you will get $75 bonus during the month of June.